What's going on guys, it's Nelty here. Today I'm going to show you guys how to actually activate the clutch on Gran Turismo Sport with the G29. You can tell I'm using the clutch to shift because every time I go clutch in, the gear changes to N for neutral. So once clutch is activated, you can't actually shift without it. It'll just make this noise when you try to. So you can even activate it for our cars. You can only activate it for the ones with the manual transmission. So in the event though here, if I scroll down to the gearbox option, there isn't an option for manual transmission, just semi-automatic and fully customised. It does make sense because in the real car there isn't actually an option for a stick shift, it's just all paddles. And then we jump into the M3 here, uh, and we go to the bottom. There's two options for manual, there's just normal manual which is a stock gearbox. And then there is fully customised, which is you can make your gears longer or shorter depending on how you want to build your car. So there's other cars this works for, like the M3 from 2003, the Ford Focus from 2015, and the Honda Civic EK9. So to actually activate the clutch, you need to go to track with that button that I just used there. And then you can see now I'm using the paddle shifters, I can't actually access the neutral gear. But when I put my foot into the clutch, it goes into neutral, and then I can shift freely with the clutch in. So, I hope, really hope this video helped you guys. If it did, please remember to leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel, and I'll catch you all later.